seems Yuki. Uh, they are very close. They are like family. <laughs> Koichi is uh, like a father. <laughs> Yumi is like a daughter. Serena is like a daughter. And Tomoki is like a son. Or his mom. I don't know. But please.
they've just said. That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> and also, Shelby said, that's really interesting idea that we should try. So we strengthened our result and we started outlining our plan. From here, we started in earnest. Finding a place was a thing which almost all people said it's impossible. Or you should change your event to one day, or there's no facility which will provide them their place for free. But I believe that there must be someone who will agree <coughs> with our camp concept, because our camp was not only for our happiness, it's for making many people happy, including people overseas. And it was definitely going to be a really meaningful opportunity for international students here. So I just sent email more to more than 50 facilities, such as camp facilities or nonprofit organizations or churches or student associations, but it was not still decided. So I just kept asking anytime to anyone, and if it's needed, I went anywhere. Then one day, when I went to a facility, it's called Jubilee Ridge. I felt something different from where I've ever been. There was a beautiful garden and a big room with a stage and a huge windows and a really comfortable atmosphere that I could imagine uh, we, we, would have, uh, we would have a peaceful time together with a warm sunshine. <coughs> When I met the chief of Jubilee Ridge, whose name is Tom, I suddenly sensed that this is a place which may choose us. So I was really relaxed when I started talking to Tom. And just after 10 minutes, he said like this. Great, Yumi. I really agree with your camp concept, and we are totally open to your camp. Then we got that place. That was the fourth yes. Look at them. This is what we were given as a fifth gift. Explanation. The most, most interesting story is the uh, experience of the farmer's market. <coughs> For one month. I went to the farmer's market every Saturday. Most farmers promised they would give us many food donations. Enjoy a special ham. Use my vegetables. <coughs> Do you want tomatoes? I'll make a cider for you. OK, bring my pumpkins. Do you want apples? OK, sure. Yeah. Finally, thanks to them, we were able to eat many delicious food in our camp. I'm very, very grateful to them. This is the fifth gift. We definitely couldn't have hold this camp by ourselves. We are wondering how we would cook our traditional food or how we would transport our stuff. We couldn't solve this problem by ourselves. But we have many friends who helped us. Brandon is one of them. I met him in my community group. I'm amazed by his cooking skill. <laughs> <laughs> he cooked one who cooked. So I asked him to become a cooking instructor. He taught us how to cook a traditional American food and what the story of Thanksgiving is. We are so thankful that he helped us. Because of his helping, we experienced that American traditional Thanksgiving in our camp. Another key person is Jeff. We met him at the church, which Shelby invited us to. He's so funny and really helpful. So we needed tons of sleeping bags for participants because 
there are no beds in the camping place. So what he did was send an email to all his friends, which is like, my friend need a help. Do you guys have any sleeping box? If so, can we borrow that? Like that. <laughs> yeah. So finally, we were able to get some. And then he said to us, I'm glad I helped you. We are so thankful that he helped us. Because of his helping, we offered good sleep to all participants. If we had more time, I would want to say more thank you to more and more people, but we have just 15 minutes. So finally, what we want to say is we are so thankful for all people who help us so we could be successful. This is six. international students in Seattle. What all those gifts gave us is a story. Actually, as a result, our camp member was all Asians, but definitely we had a really good story. Our camps were started by a party, and then we had game, some games, and then we have dialogue, in the, in the first night. And second day, we did dance with dancing team. And then we did, uh, we cooked Thanksgiving food. And then we burned campfire. And then talked and talked and talked. <laughs> <laughs> the, what the most precious thing was that they could be themselves in this camp. So they were really honestly talking about the Seattle life, I mean, really honestly, or the original purpose to be here, <coughs> or about their family, or about themselves, or we talked about future dream, or the happiest story in their life, or the saddest story in their life. Then all of them opened their mind, whether if it's positive or not, and of course in English. And that was really meaningful thing, because through this camp, they realized that they could be themselves if it's not if not using their language. So we definitely um, shared and expressed and understood our individual stories. Here, this is cross-cultural poster. <laughs> <laughs> so we were uh, almost a real family beyond any borders of language or nation. That was the seventh gift, which all those gifts gave us. Well, we were given many gifts and one story. Exactly, the camp had been done. But I believe these are going to be our treasure for good. We just believe it, that if we keep asking, someone will be helped. So even, even when we want to give up, we just kept asking. We, we couldn't many things using only our, only our power, but many people, many of our friends became our great power. Then we could create it much greater things. When we started our team, I had one mission. To create a great group that used all of its strengths and charms to achieve a wonderful goal. Because they had the big strengths and really great charms. That was why I decided to be a leader. I just wanted to create the atmosphere that they can think of the great idea and make an effort easily. Now, as you can see, we have become a great team. You know, still, I'm not 
perfect. But what I am is optimistic because I can see what we are today. And this is the one, the only one I have ever made. <coughs> Maybe everyone in this team can be a leader. But this is the team that I have created and we have created together. And also, they taught me what it means to be a leader. The bottom line is, don't have to pretend, pretend to be someone who is really great. But do just what I can. Just understand myself and understand my teammate. That was really the biggest thing for me. And that was what I learned from this camp. Now, I believe we can have really great experience through this camp and project and this team. And I'm really glad to share our great gifts and story with you today. And this is the end of our eight-week story. Thank, Thank you. you.